Well, hello everybody, hello everybody, hello everyone. Welcome to my channel and welcome back to Horizon Forbidden West. Mari kita lanjutkan saja cerita. Ya. Oke. Kita kembali ke base camp setelah kita bertemu dengan pengikut Ted Hero ya. Yang nyata matinya. yang ternyata matinya itu nggak jelas gitu loh gue agak bingung gitu kayak gue bakal gue bahkan gue kira itu bakal jadi kayak uh, apa sih ad, lebih kayak ada backstory gitu bakal jadi musuh gitu kan ternyata oh ternyata tidak <laughs> nyata cuman mati ketimpa bo, bo <tip> ketimpa apa namanya ketimpa batu palanya si Ted Haro itu kocak banget sih si si CEO ini menurut gua bakal jadi apa ya yang bagus gitu kalau memang dijadikan musuh jadi ada sobatnya Aloy ini you look geared up for battle always you smart by, choice you'll miss out on a good trade oke okay, saja so balik kita ke bas 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 ke Cuma dong itu apa ya jurusnya? Gue nggak tahu. Halo semuanya apa kabar? The old ones put blades on their feet and danced on ice. There she is. I hear you found Thebes. How was it? Maniacs, lava, what's not to like? I'll remember that next time I go traveling. At least I got what we needed to trap Hephaestus. Good thing I got my gear ready then. You're training. You look tired. Ha! You never want to hold back, are you? I've just been making sure that I got everything down for this mission of yours. I wouldn't want to be the usual screw-up out there. You'll do fine, Errant. Have you spoken with Alva yet? Yeah, when she's not reading the archives like a giddy kid drinking her first ale. She took to that new focus quick, that's for sure. I gotta say, I'm a little jealous. But I can see why you two hit it off. Why are you jealous? I should get going. As soon as you want us heading out to those cauldrons. I'll give you the heads up. <sighs> ale? Carl? From the look on your face, I'd say the mission was a success. I got Omega clearance. Is everyone ready to head out to Cauldron Gemini? As soon as you give the word. Did Alva make it here all right? Our new Quen friend. The moment she laid eyes on the archives, she jumped on them like a long leg. Sounds about right. <laughs> Once Gaia is back up and running, I expect you to put all your training to good use. The seeds have been planted. All they need is a chance to bloom. What? I thought that was pretty good. Zo liked it. I'm glad you and Zo found each other. Don't forget, you're to blame for that. Hmm. Now that I have Omega clearance, we can grab Hephaestus and finally have the advantage over the Zeniths. Can't wait to see their faces as they stare down a bunch of charging thunder jaws. Better them than us. For once, I should go get this to Gaia. Of course. Let us know when we're needed. Okay. Zo, welcome back. Good to be back. Have you met our new Quen guest yet? 
I could barely keep up as she gave herself a tour of the base. Varl gave her a new focus. Though when he told her she was free to access all the data we had here, she turned so pale I, I thought she'd faint on the spot. We showed her to the archive room so she could see for herself. She hasn't left the place since. Sounds like Alva. Read anything interesting lately? I found out the Old Ones use leaf infusions like the Utaru do. Tea, they call it. <laughs> it helped soothe them. That and some sort of scented wax they used to cleanse their aura. Uh, plus something called bubble baths. Me, I think I'll stick to singing to calm the nerves. <laughs> I assume you've been looking into Demeter now that Gaia's merged with it? Yes. It's been humbling to know that the seeds I carry in this pouch came in turn from the seeds saved for Demeter in the Old World. It gives me hope that the cycle of life will prevail now, just as it did before. How are things with everyone? Slightly quieter. Aaron's been busy scouring data on his newest obsession. Apparently the Old Ones wrestled machines as some kind of performance. Called it Metal vs. Meat. A must-see battle between steel and flesh, as Aaron likes to put it. You'd think we have enough of that going around as it is. Uh, okay. I need to get going. Right. You've retrieved the Omega clearance. That means we'll be going after Hephaestus soon. I'll make sure my gear is ready. Thank you. I appreciate. Uh, class. Class, class, class. Let's go more talk to Kotalu. Alva. Aloy! Right to work, I see. There's just so much. I mean, we knew of artificial beings that served the ancestors, but Gaia? Oh, she's amazing! A and you, a true reincarnation of an ancestor. Genetically speaking, of course, not like the um, late CEO. And there's more ancestors out there, returned from beyond the stars. Uh, of course, they're trying to kill us, which is not great. And Eric Visser is with them, which is disturbing. And then there's Hephaestus, and... Okay, okay, how about we take it one step at a time? You're right. I also owe you an explanation for everything that happened at Landfall. I see you've been using your new focus. It's been fascinating. So much better than the version the Quen have. What would have taken me years to sort through, like the database you helped me recover? With this, I've been able to establish search parameters to speed up the process. This could revolutionize how diviners analyze the legacy. That is, whatever part of it the overseers would actually let us study. You want a data, you'll find lots of it here. A diviner has never had this sort of unsupervised access to archives such as this. And knowing you, I suspect there is much that would normally be forbidden held within them. But I was sent here to help you. I would be remiss to ignore any truth laid before me. Maybe it'll help the Quen find their way back to the path of truth. You mentioned Eric Visser? How do you know about him? The Zenith who tried to kill you? He is known to the Quen as the Protector. Combing through data related to his work led us to breakthroughs related to weapons and military tactics. Knowledge our rulers use to conquer and expand. To become the empire we are today. That's why he's one of- Damn. Pas banget gue. So lovely, good. Embrace. Apa ya sebutannya? Embrace. Yeah. Bentar.
And it's our most revered ancestors. But based on your encounter with him, it appears he's even more ruthless than we ever imagined. Yet another distorted interpretation in a legacy. Well, at least you're piecing together the truth. If only the overseers back home would do the same. Beta mentioned other Zenas. Tilda, Verbena, and Gerard. I'm afraid I don't know anything about them. Whatever legacy they left behind, the Diviners haven't recovered. Oh. I imagine you don't know anyone here that well yet, but they're a good group. It's funny because one of your friends is, well, another you. Not that you are the same person at all. I mean, you are, as in you're both genetically Elizabeth Sobeck, but even so, you're different. Yeah, we are. <laughs> I hope everyone's been treating you okay. Oh, yeah, of course. They've all been extremely welcoming. And they share the knowledge they learn on their focuses with each other freely. It's refreshing. Back home, diviners can only share data with the permission from the overseers. Sounds restrictive and stifling. Yeah, you are. You said you owed me an explanation for what happened in Thebes. I'm listening. Right. I'll start at the beginning with the CEO. He was an Imperial, the Emperor's nephew, in fact. As such, he sponsored many diviners to search the legacy for anything that might help the tribe, and himself. He took a special interest in anything related to Ted Farrow, whom we consider the greatest of the ancestors. Ted Farrow, revered ancestor. That's tough to take. I know better now, of course. Anyway, the diviners discovered that Farrow spent a great deal of time in San Francisco. In fact, many of the most important ancestors did. So the Emperor's nephew convinced him that an expedition across the ocean might solve our most pressing problems. If only we could find the right data in this fabled city. Perhaps we could roll back the floods and storms that threatened our people. The Emperor declared that all the tribe's resources be poured into this endeavor. Dozens of ships were built, scouting missions were dispatched, and the Emperor's nephew was named Sio, one who wields the legacy for the good of the Empire, the living embodiment of Ted Farrow, the Renewer. It may seem strange now, but for a time, he carried all of our hopes. We really believed he would save us. We had no idea just how perilous the journey would be. The journey. You said the expedition across the sea was more dangerous than you thought it would be. What happened? We lost most of our ships to hurricanes, and scores of soldiers perished to hunger and disease. And that was before we even hit the coast. Once we landed, machines ripped our patrols apart, and we struggled to replenish our rations. There were bright spots, to be sure. We found Thebes and the greenhouse, but... Nothing improved the CEO's mood as his dreams of saving the tribe were slowly dashed. He became more and more obsessed with Thebes and what lay behind its door. And more and more convinced that the title of CEO was no mere honorific. You heard him, spouting nonsense about Pharaoh's essence and some kind of becoming. We knew these weren't the words of a sane man, but he was quick to put any who spoke out in front of a firing squad. What a great guy. The Quen are wrong about many things when it comes to the legacy. I can see that now. But what the CEO became was a complete perversion of what principal diviners stand for. The, the pursuit of truth. Uh, I'm sorry you had to endure his madness. I'm just glad it's over. For everyone. Bohai. <laughs> so, Bohai. Your overseer. Bohai. <laughs> Will he run things better than Sio? <laughs> he won't execute people. Oh, on him. Bohai. That's what you mean. But mm. he's hardly a paragon of integrity. I can't tell you how many times he took credit for data in the legacy that I uncovered. 
The best thing I can say about him is that he can be trusted to always do what's best for him. Yep, sounds about right. Well, hi. The Ancestors, is that what your people call the Old Ones? Yes and no. The Ancestors are the greatest of the Old Ones. Those whose legacy taught us agriculture, medicine, warfare, leadership, and patronage of the science and arts. The CEO called Elizabeth Sobek an assistant. What's that about? Right. Well, any old one who has made minor contributions or worked extensively under one of the ancestors is called an assistant. That's how we thought of Sobek. Until we met you. Our limited access to data past the late 2040s has obviously uh, misinformed our view of the past. Back at the greenhouse, you spoke of knowledge forbidden to your people. Diviners are meant to seek out the truth in the legacy. And many Imperials sponsor them in the hopes they'll find something the Empire can put to use, thus gaining favor with the Emperor. But the Board of Overseers claims certain truths are detrimental to the stability of the Empire. Like discovering one of our revered ancestors ended the world. That is why Diviners are only allowed to access segments of the Legacy. Only Overseers can view it all. It ensures that any heretical data can be contained and retrieved before it can spread. What happens to Diviners who break the rules? I never had the courage to ask. You mentioned the reason you came here was to help your family. Your sister... Her name is Alika. Our parents are commoners. Peasants, really. When I passed the divination exams, they were so proud. It brought honor to our family and increased rations. Only Alika begged me not to leave for the research academy. Why? What happens there? Alika knew that once you enter, you're not allowed to leave or see anyone, not even your family, uh, unless you can get special permission and an escort by an overseer. That sounds harsh. Like the focuses we keep, diviners are few in number, and the Empire is, well, fearful that outsiders will try to steal our knowledge. Last time I was allowed to see my family was just before our voyage here. Because of my position, I was able to get them refuge from the floods within the capital. But if our crops don't recover soon, they'll starve to death along with everyone else. I promise I'll do my best to make sure it doesn't come to that. I need to get going, but if you need anything... All I need is to help you succeed in your mission. The plan Gaia told me about to capture Hephaestus, it will help set things right? I hope so. Then I will do whatever I can. I promise. Mm. Ini... Bukan kamar gue. <laughs> Ah, ini bukan ni. Ah, okay. Sudah semuanya deh. Oh ya, sudah semuanya. Sudah semuanya. Pokemon, Pokemon. Robot yang gua tak perlukan. Kunci. Wei.
apa ya poin ini? Kenapa? Kenapa di poin Oh ini kamar gua baru. negative all the time I mean we're clones of the same woman and yet she couldn't be more different from Elizabeth karena dia beta kalau alpha beda lagi eh yeah. nah alpha udah lagu gue So, our enemy is immortal. Most of my people don't survive past 30. Aloy, well met. We've been briefed on our mission and are ready whenever you wish to head to Cauldron Gemini. Were you able to finish the new arm guy was helping you with? Indeed. I was hoping we could discuss it if you have a moment. How are your studies going? I wanted to learn more about the world of the Old Ones. And? I looked up this pharaoh Gaia said you went looking for, and learned about the plague of machines he unleashed. To think that the ancient world was wiped out by... <laughs> a mistake. A single miscalculation. That... There is no glory or honor in such a fate. Only hubris. And pointless death. That about sums it up. Have you spoken with Alva? The Quen is peculiar. Nothing like a Tanakh. Her mind is sharp, that much is certain. But it's hard to imagine her surviving in the wilds. Trust me, she's tougher than she looks. I will take your word for it. You wanted to talk about your arm? Indeed. It's time to test it, and I want you to be there. Okay. How are we doing this? Not how. Where? Will you meet me where we felt Regala's tremor tusk? Right where the river bends? Sure, if you want, but I'm not sure I understand. You'll see when we get there. I promise. Then I'll let you know when I get close. You have my thanks, Aloy. Okay. I have to go now. Then do not let me keep you. Like I said, I'll call you when I'm close to Regala's old outpost near the bulwark. May the Ten guide your way. Yeah, of course. I'll go back. I will go there. Ah, Still cold enough for us, no? Shut up, baby. Okay, I Campfire. Ah, kita akan kita akan menolong si anak-anak itu merebut kembali
pelan-pelan gue nggak mau paling gampang nih dihancurin Oke. Okay. I think this is where Kotalo wanted to test out his new arm. Hey Kotalo, I'm by the Tremor Tusk site where we agreed to meet. Want to test that new arm of yours? I'll be there shortly. Kotalo tenang banget. Maybe now you can tell me what we're doing here. Not just yet. Follow me, please. Someone's being awfully mysterious. You took your sweet time telling me what you wanted to do to the bulwark. Consider this my revenge. Oh, fair enough. No apology. Jangan. Kambing kenapa? Gua ah tembak. This is it. What am I looking at? Oh, you'll see. Come. All right, talk to me, Catalo. I wish to test the arm. On that. Hello, Joe. It has menaced the valley for some time. Oh, hello. Killed more than a few of the Sky Clan, but no longer. I'm honored to help. Damn. This thing likes the taste of metal. Tar, tar. Ada caranya sendiri sendiri. Eh, gua tahu cara. Baju mana baju? No one is climbing that mountain. Not even me. Abah ni, kemana? Aduh Buset Oh gitu Diam lo Anjay mana robotnya Anjay apa sih Hati lo Well, I think it's safe to say the new arm works fine Agreed Then why are you taking it off? This is what I am now when I overcame, anything else feels 
Wrong. Like a disguise. I'll use the new arm when I need it. But the rest of the time, I will simply be myself. I wouldn't have it any other way. You have my thanks for doing this with me. Here. Something to mark our victory. Thank you. I'll see you later then. The ten be with you, Aloy. The man with culture, man. I love that. Apa sih ini kambing bener dah gue bakar nih. Uh. Dari tadi ngikutin gue melulu. Ya jelas, kok kesel gue sama kambing itu ya tiba-tiba. Oke, balik lagi. The best jalan jauh banget ya sebenernya hmm saking jauhnya jauh banget tuh <laughs> ini Gue gak sabar, gue mau mainin VR sumpah Sumpah, gue gak sabar Gue pengen banget gitu kayak mainin VR Mainin game VR Udah lama, uh, semenjak gue punya PS VR, gue PS VR gue rusak Gue udah gak bisa tuh yang namanya <laughs> Recording atau main game VR Pada akhirnya gue beli Oculus Quest Jadi Oculus Quest itu Kalau kalian belum tahu, gue kalian gak punya PC, kalian bisa mainin dengan Oculus Quest dan itu menyenangkan. Ya, resikonya ya gitulah. Kadang baterainya mudah lola, grafik yang nggak terlalu detail, tapi overall gue suka. Gue suka. Nah, tanpa kabel-kabelan, nggak ribet. Paling frame rate-nya doang yang dibikinin. So, we're fighting immortals from the stars now? What do I get? What's next? Whoa. This file refers to a fruit. What's on your mind? Okay. Anything new around here? Katalo showed me the schematics for his new arm. I recall reading about robotic limbs within the legacy, but I never thought I'd see one in action. Technology like that would be treasured back home. Think of what it could do for injured workers or soldiers. But knowing the Imperial family, they would use it for different purposes. Their own. Replacing body parts as they grow older. Like the Zenith. Exactly. All right, go back. I better leave you to your studies. There really is a lot to go through, isn't there? animasi yang ditampilkan keren banget hmm. dia ngasih apa gue ya ke gue special gear Kalau garis ini kayaknya udah semua hampir. Uh, paper, warrior, that's almost all get it. Almost. Hmm. 
Welcome back. Aloy, I know your experience in Thebes was unsettling, but we have a new problem. Did something go wrong with Beta and the rig? Will we be able to transport you to Gemini? The rig is complete. The problem is Hephaestus itself. It has accelerated its proliferation throughout the Cauldron Network, increasing its power. But with your subfunctions restored, we can still succeed, right? Correct. But the net effect is that absorbing Hephaestus will take longer than previously calculated. How long? Even with Omega Clearance, my current estimate is that the merge will take 35 hours. And each hour increases the risk of detection by the Zeniths. Two cores. Two overrides. What if the merge were carried out by two clones of Elizabeth Sobek, both armed with Omega Clearance? How long then? Half the time? Hephaestus would be unprepared for the simultaneous labor of two operators, in addition to obvious synergetic efficiencies. Calculating. It would reduce the merge time to approximately 4.5 hours. Okay. Varl, it looks like we're gonna need Beta at Gemini. Do you think you can convince her? Uh, I don't know, but I'll try. What about our diversion? Are the pulse generators ready? Only a final test remains. I am confident that if fired in proximity to other cauldrons, the pulses will mask our activities at Gemini from the Zenith. Good. As long as Aaron can operate one without shooting himself in the face. Aloy, you'd better get down here. Beta's in bad shape. Okay. Hello. Aloy, I believe Varl is still waiting for you, outside Beta's room. I know. I just wanted to talk about something else first. As you wish. So I, uh, found Thebes. What do you think Ted would have done if his life extension treatments had worked? It seems he convinced himself it was his duty to guide future humans. Given the tribal nature of new humans, and his ability to use Omega Clearance on the terraforming system, I imagine he would have convinced one or more tribes to worship him as their patriarchal deity. Okay. Yep, glad that didn't happen. Aside from Gaia Prime and Thebes, there was one other underground facility that was sealed before the Pharaoh Plague reached it. Elysium. The place where Zero Dawn staff and their families went to live out their lives. Do you know what happened to it? Elysium was designed to provide life support for 100 years. My data indicates the facility went offline well before then. Did the Pharaoh Plague find them? Unknown. My connection to the facility was abruptly severed. How's all of us settling in? As soon as she arrived, Alva was eager to study the data in the archive. A particular file soon caught her attention. Information about a machine assistant devoted to keeping living spaces neat and orderly. I informed her that once I am empowered with the abilities of Hephaestus, I may be able to design such a machine. I'm sure she'll like that. So our plan to capture Hephaestus. Let's go over it again. As you wish. Thanks to Beta's test, we now know that Hephaestus will not respond to your Alpha Clearance. Which is why I got Ted Pharaoh's Omega Clearance. Correct. While you were gone, Beta constructed the transport rig and pulse generators. When we get to Gemini, I will need to be installed on one of the facility's cores. 
The second core is for Hephaestus. Using Omega clearance will allow you to trap it. And then you'll be able to absorb it? Not quite. You will need to manually remove Hephaestus's malicious code before the merge. How long will that take? Because the work will be split between you and Beta, it will take approximately 4.5 hours. And during that time, the others will create a distraction for us using the pulse generators, right? Correct. They will each take position at a cauldron door and fire off their device. The energy surge should mask our activities until the merge is complete. And then we'll have everything we need to defeat the Zenus. Sounds like a plan. I guess I should get going. As you say. Be well, Aloy. Be well, Aloy. I tried, but it's impossible. I don't think anything will convince her to go. We don't have a choice. Good luck. Beta, you have to come with us. It's the only way. It's one mission. The most important one. We need you. Tell me why you won't go. What if they... What if they take me back? Alone, in a cell again. A slave. Forever. I'll protect you. Varl and I will be at Gemini too. I'll protect you. As soon as we get Hephaestus, we'll come straight back here. The Zenus aren't going to find us. You don't have to be afraid. No! You can't protect me! Nothing can protect me from them! I told you from the beginning we'll never beat them! It's hopeless! Beta. Leave me alone! You don't understand! You're right. I don't understand. We have the same genes, the same mind, the same heart. So why can't you find the strength to do what has to be done? Like Elizabeth would. Don't you think I thought about that? I don't know what piece of Elizabeth I'm missing. I don't know what you have that I don't. I look through all the data from your focus. You were raised as an outcast, shunned and isolated just like me. So what's the difference? What's my defect? Ross. Oh no. Uh. You don't have a defect. No. Uh. Beta. Look, it's not a piece of Elizabeth. Aww. The difference is, I had him. Frost. He raised you, trained you, but he was never warm or loving. The day he died, the day he gave you that charm, he was going to abandon you. He wanted me to embrace the tribe. But then he gave his life for mine. He loved me in his own way. And that was enough. It was like... 
having a strength that was always there. It's still there. Even now I hear him in my head when things get bad. But it looks impossible. Look deeper. And then fight like you can win. You don't have to go on the mission. We'll find another way. I'll go. You said you'd try to protect me. I believe you. But you have to promise me one thing. Yes, of course. If it goes bad, if the Zeniths find us, I don't want to be their slave again. Do you understand? Okay. Promise? I promise. I could use as much time as you can give me to study up on the merch, to make it as efficient as possible. I'll be ready when you are. I swear. Aloy, whenever you are ready, come speak to me and I'll ask the others to make final preparations for the mission. Oh, there's... There's a daughter. I'm quite certain that it's a unique situation. I know that. But if there were two of me walking around, I'd run for the hills and never look back. Come on, I'm being serious. Hey, I thought I'd check in before leaving for Gemini. Are you sure we shouldn't be uh, checking up on you? I mean, whatever went on between you and Beta sounded intense. Not that I'm judging. Forge knows all the screws flew loose every time Mercer and I fought. I think we'll be fine from now on. I'm glad to hear it. After we get Hephaestus, we'll be taking the fight to the Zeniths. So, no more reading. Ah, it wasn't that bad. Not really. Besides, going through all that data helped me realize something. You know, the soldiers, the, the ones that fought the Pharaoh machines so Gaia could be built? Uh, they were fighting a battle that couldn't be won. Not with all the weapons in the world. I think most of them realized that, whether anyone said it or not. And they still did it, though. They bought time for all the eggheads we're going to save the future. Our future. As long as I can do that for you, I'll consider myself a success. Thank you, Arendt. I'm... Glad you're with me. Yeah, okay, enough. I'm gonna get emotional. Anybody take you up on that ale you brought yet? Zo can't stand the smell of it. I tried Alva, but I don't think she knows what taking a break means. And I'm not putting Varl anywhere near that stuff after that victory party in Meridian. And what about Catalo? Ah, now there's a man that can hold his liquor. Pretty sure we downed half a keg. We had a good chat, I think. I should go. That yeah, same here. I got a date with a cauldron to prepare for. Aloy. Everything okay with you and Beta? It sounded like you guys had a, uh, lively conversation. We just had a lot to talk about. Does this mean she's coming with us to Gemini? It does. I hope you're ready to rein in the most stubborn AI of all time. That's what all this was for, wasn't it? Hephaestus won't go down quietly. Hephaestus is just a program that's lost its way. We are fighting for our survival. I can always call upon the goddess if you're nervous. Funny. Any last findings you want to share before leaving? 
Not really. Though I've reached a decision. Oh? When we put Gaia together, I want to return to the Nora. Spread what I've learned. You think they'll listen to you? In time, I believe so. If anyone can make it happen, it's you, Varl. What will you and Zoe do if you go back to the Embrace? I hope she'll come with me. At least for a while. And I'll go with her to Plainsong, too. She'll probably want to talk to her people about all this as well. We'll figure it out. I know you will. How does everyone seem to you? Anxious, but ready. I heard Catalo ask for Alva's help with his pulse generator. And I know he's been helping her with a few fighting techniques, just in case. I hope they aren't needed. Like I said, just in case. I hope firing off those pulse generators will be enough to distract the Zeniths. It'll work. It has to. Always optimistic, huh? Nah, just stubborn. It's a good quality to have when dealing with you. Yeah, right. You were right, you know. About keeping Rost's memories buried. I guess part of me thought he was holding me back. Because he wanted me to be a Nora. But the truth is, he gave me a lot. And I took him for granted. He was a good man. He raised you well. I'm glad you're coming with me, Varl. Sure there's no urge to run off alone in there somewhere? No more running. <gasps> hey. We'll be going after Hephaestus soon. You good with the plan? I've already got the location of my assigned cauldron. Good. I heard you and Beta had a... talk. News travels fast. It wasn't exactly a quiet conversation. There were just things that needed to be said. A healthy crop to those who clear the weeds between them, as the Utaru say. You look like you have something on your mind. We're going to war soon. And war is something I promised myself I'd left behind in the Red Raids. But the more of your data I go through, every voice I hear, every word I read from her ancient past, it makes me realize just how much life was given so that ours could flourish. Fighting for that gift, it's our responsibility. If we fail, it was all for naught. Helps to know you're not alone. For a moment there, you sounded like Varl. I don't know what you're talking about. I should go. As soon as you intend to leave for Gemini, you'll hear about it. Damn. Aloy. Are you well? Had a bit of an issue with Beta. It's better now, though. Ah. Uh, I'm not surprised. Really? Why not? I once knew a warrior who discovered he had a brother late in life. It was deeply uncomfortable for him. Did he ever get over it? In time. But not before the two siblings nearly killed each other in a single combat challenge. Ah. Well, at least I avoided that. Think you're ready to put all your training to the test? I am to Nacht. I am always ready. Are you nervous about the mission ahead? If I live, it will be in victory. If I die, it will be in battle. What matters most is that you achieve your objective. I'll do my best. I bet people are curious about that new arm of yours. None more than our Quen ally, I assure you. She couldn't wait to take it apart and figure out how it works. I gave her the data I used to build the thing, hoping I would satisfy her curiosity instead. Good luck with that. Damn. I should go get I'll ready. Let good luck with I them. await your orders. Uh. What the hell? 
This thing is doing here. Or uh miss you. I hope I'm not interrupting. Not at all. I was just studying the pulse generator schematics. The ones Gaia and Beta built. <laughs> the craftsmanship is remarkable. Is everything all right? It sounded like there was an uh, issue with Beta and the mission. Not anymore. We just needed to talk some things through. To understand one another is to embrace truth. Oh, and uh, if you have a moment, there's something I could use your help with. Any more data catch your eye? All of it? I have so much to study up on. Years, actually. I'm particularly interested in the Odyssey. We knew the ancestors had made it to the moon. In fact, we theorized some of them had settled on it. But Sirius is way farther than that. And we thought journeying across the ocean would be the feat of a lifetime. The sheer calculations needed for space travel, it's overwhelming to think about. Even so, the Quen are way ahead of other tribes when it comes to understanding this stuff. Where I grew up, everyone thought that stars were sparks that rose from a fire lit by the goddess to guide us through the night. Have you spoken with Zoe at all? A little bit, but uh, I did hear her singing with Varl not too long ago. I don't think they noticed. So seemed so uh, free when she did it. Like every emotion she had was taking flight in song. Uh, and she looked happier because of it. Uh, I felt so dull and nervous in comparison. You should ask So to teach you sometime about Utaru music. Maybe. If you need anything before heading out to the cauldrons... You have nothing to worry about. Gaia's explained your plan in detail, as expected from such an efficient AI. I've even received some very, um, uh, succinct combat advice from Kotalo. You know, uh, in case the Zeniths show up. What kind of advice? He, um told me to run for now we'll even the odds soon enough must be strange to think that some of the ancestors your tribe reveres are still alive and here on earth right now yeah it is part of me is curious to know who else besides eric visser might be among them maybe nikita arand we call her the spark the legacy tells us she brought unlimited energy to the Old Ones. Or Song Zhao, whom we call the Healer. It is said she found new ways to extend the ancestors' lifespans. But my curiosity fades when I think of how different our view of Visser was compared to the reality that you experienced. Perhaps it is better not to know. You mentioned there was something you needed help with? Yes. Uh, so, as I was sifting through data from the greenhouse, I found references to an old world system back in the Great Delta. It's called Leviathan. My people discovered it decades ago. A sprawling network of river gates and a labyrinth of underground tunnels. The legacy revealed that the Old Ones used it to control flooding. But we've never gotten it to work. The whole thing is shut down. But, the data from the greenhouse mentions the research facility where Leviathan was created. It's in San Francisco. Another pharaoh facility? No. Leviathan was a project by Eileen Sasaki, another ancestor. So, the legacy tells us, anyway. If we can acquire that data, we might be able to fix the system back in the Great Delta. Every year, my sister gets terrified when the long rains begin. With Leviathan, Maybe she won't have to be. Okay. So, where in San Francisco is this facility? That's the thing. The data doesn't say where, exactly. But one of our diviners has been exploring the ruins. He might know. Would you come with me? I have a feeling that wherever this facility is... Well, 
You're much better at fighting machines than I am. Of course. I'll let you know when I'm in landfall. Thank you, Aloy. I should go. Make sure you talk to Gaia if you have any questions about the pulse generators. May your path lead to truth. And, like I said, I'll let you know when I'm in landfall. We'll find the data you're after. I appreciate it. <laughs>